This is question 21. College Board is giving us a mixture problem, and in this case they give us the equation for the mixture problem, but it's worth reviewing the equation because you will often have to write these. Claim the mix is 10 x milliliters of a 10% solution with my y milliliters of a 20% solution. So the amount of salt in these will be 0.1 times x plus 0.2 times y. And he creates an 18% solution. So the amount of salt in that is 0.18, 18% of the total amount, x plus y. In this case, we're given the amount of 20% solution is 100 milliliters, and that amount is y. So that gives you the equation 0.1x plus 0.20 times 100 equals 0.18 times x plus 100. And we can solve this algebraically, but if you have the graphing calculator, you can put the left side into y1, 0.1x plus 0.2 times 100, and the right side into y2, 0.18 parentheses, x plus 100. Graph it in a window where your x window includes the maximum solution here, 100, and I'm going to take a y max of 40. And the graph looks like this. And the x coordinate at the point of intersection will be my solution. So on the graphing calculator, second trace, choice 5 for intersect, hit enter three times on the TI 83 or 84. X equals 25. And it makes sense that if we want to be closer to 20% than 10%, the amount of 20% solution will be substantially more than the amount of 10% solution. So that seems reasonable. We can also do this by hand. I have 0.1x plus 20, 0.2 times 100, equals 0.18x plus 0.18 times 100 is 18. Subtract 18 from both sides. Subtract 0.1x. And I get 20 minus 18 is 2, equals 0.08x, divide by 0 0.08. And on my calculator, 2 divided by 0 0.08 is 25, which is the same answer I got using the graphing feature. We have a number of options for solving these. Just make sure you're proficient with your favorite one. And come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.